Welcome to the CMOS farming training video. In this video, the focus is on harvesting techniques and best practices. Before you harvest, there are some key things to consider. Establish where you will bleach and dry your CMOS. The ideal place for drying CMOS is an area exposed to the sun and wind as the CMOS will dry quickly. Ensure that bleaching and drying racks are in place to accommodate the CMOS. Also, ensure that your new lines for replanting have been prepared or set up. You need to also have your harvesting bags ready for placement of the CMOS. You will use those to carry the CMOS from the water to the drying area. Determine if you will harvest in low tide or high tide. Low tide is the preferred time for harvesting if you are going in on foot. High tide can work if you have a boat. Most importantly, you also need to know when to harvest. Your sea moss should be harvested when they're fully grown or mature. Generally, Yukima cotoni takes about six to eight weeks to mature. However, in some instances, with high nutrient levels, the sea moss can be harvested sooner. Please don't wait until it's too late to harvest. Your sea moss may break off and get washed away if you do not harvest on time. Let's now get into the actual act of harvesting the sea moss. To harvest, carefully cut or break the sea moss from the rope. Place in harvest bag and take to shore. Note that Whereas the ideal method of harvest is to remove all the sea moss off the lines and replant them with new planting materials, you can cut them leaving the attached part behind. This is referred to as pruning. Note, you need to be careful not to prune the sea moss for more than two harvests. This is particularly important since with pruning, you are leaving the more mature and valuable part of the plant behind while you harvest the part that is actively growing. These healthy growing tips should be the materials used for replanting the lines to continue a new production cycle. Remember to leave enough planting materials for replanting, about 20% of the harvest. So if, for example, you harvest 100 pounds of sea moss, Consider putting aside about 20 pounds for replanting. Choose healthy planting materials with lots of new growing tips for replanting. Make sure that you replant as soon as possible and keep the sea moss to be used for planting away from direct sunlight. They should not be out of the water for more than one hour and should be kept cool and moist. Otherwise, the sea moss will get stressed and lose its vitality.